So I have this website. You probably know it if you're a regular on the channel. It's Can You Wash It? And it's uh, an experiment in AI. And it's, it's actually doing pretty well in terms of traffic and rankings. However, one thing that I think it could do better at is its Google PageSpeed score and its Web Core Vitals and its overall performance. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is doing okay at the moment. It's running popcorn theme and it's on some super fast hosting with Phil at Spiderweb. And yeah, if we take a look at the Google PageSpeed, it's, it's okay. It's, it's pulling in a, a score of 73 on mobile. And of course, the mobile score is really the only one that matters. And then over on GT Metrics, we're getting 99% performance. We're getting a 930 millisecond longest content full paint. So yeah, it's not too bad, but of course, like all things, it can do better. So what I've done is I've tried out five different caching plugins in order to find out which one is the best caching plugin for WordPress. Some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, and all of them gave different results. By the way, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because one of the caching plugins uh, that I tried out actually made my website slower. So that's gonna be one to avoid, and I'll be sharing that with you at the end of the video. Now I'm aware that time is a very precious resource. Your time is precious, my time is precious, everyone's time is precious, which is why we need websites to load quickly. We don't wanna waste anyone's time. And the same applies to YouTube videos like this one. I don't wanna waste your time. So I'm gonna tell you right now which plugins are gonna improve your PageSpeed score the most. The first is a favorite plugin of mine and it's WP Rocket. So I quickly installed it onto the site and just ticked all the boxes. That's kind of what you do with these plugins, right? And also installed their Imageify plugin add-on thing, which does some stuff with the images, makes them WebP and, and, and smaller and basically more optimized. And well, it made a difference. Let's take a look. So it was able to push my page speed score up to 88, which is, you know, that's a 15 point gain. Um, the GT metrics, figures were basically the same. I mean, the LCP was reduced very, very slightly, but everything else was the same as without any um, plugin or anything like that. So yeah, WP Rocket had the biggest effect on my Web Core Vital score, on my Google PageSpeed score. It is a premium plugin, so you do have to pay for it. There's a link there. There's also a link to all the plugins that I talk about in the description of this video. By the way, I should say that that link is an affiliate link. Thank you very much if you use it. So that's WP Rocket, the premium paid for plugin that has a big effect on speed and on your Google page speed score. However, you can get a good uplift with a free plugin. And my favorite free plugin for giving you that uplift is WP Fastest Cache. You can install WP Fastest Cache from within your WordPress dashboard. Just go into plugins, add new, do a search for WP Fastest cache, it's the one with the, the leopard, and uh, install it, again, tick all the boxes. There is a premium version, but you probably ain't gonna need it, and, and activate it, and hopefully you should see an uplift. Well, I did. So let's take a look at the uplift. Here's Google PageSpeed. We've got a Google PageSpeed score of 82, and interestingly, actually, um, WP Fastest Cache had a very positive effect on the GT metric score, pushing performance up to 100%, uh, structure's down 1%, which is weird, but the LCP is also down as well, which is a good thing, of course. Lower is better. And it's down to 604 milliseconds. So very impressed with WP Fastest Cache. If you're tight on cash, short of cash, low on money, <laughs> and you don't want to pay for a plugin, then yeah, definitely check out WP Fastest Cache. The next two plugins I just want to go through real quickly because they both had a negligible effect on the site. The first one was W3 Total Cache, which I think is far too complicated and far too many settings. But yeah, I ticked the boxes that I, I think I needed to tick. And here's what happened to Google PageSpeed. It was basically, yeah, not a lot. It went up to uh, 75, which is, you know, two points. Performance on uh, GT Metrics actually went down. LCP went up, which is bad. So yeah, W3 Total Cache is it's too complicated. It's, it's too much. Avoid it. The next one, WP Optimize, similar story, installed it, configured it, and yeah, you can see right there, page speed score of 79, which is, yeah, just a few more points than having no plugin at all, and the LCP on GT Metrics also went up. So I don't think W3 Total Cash or WP Optimize are worth uh, looking at. Just, just leave them, waste of time. The final WordPress caching plugin I wanna share with you is called 
auto optimize. It sounds like it should be really good. It sounds like you should just be able to install it and then it automatically optimizes everything so everything is super fast. Well, for me, I installed it and it automatically made everything slower, which seems weird for a caching plugin. I mean, we know plugins do slow down your website, but if the plugin is supposed to make your website faster, but it actually makes it slower, then that's that's just, what? Let's have a look at the damage it did. Here's Google page speed. Yeah, it knocked me down to 69, which is four points less than not running any plugin at all. Over on GT Metrics, I mean, these were pretty much the same apart from the LCP, which has been pushed up to 1.2 seconds. So I would say, yeah, avoid auto optimize. It's just gonna slow things down. So there we have it, the quickest and easiest way to increase your Google Web Core Vital scores, your Google PageSpeed scores, your GT Metric scores, the performance in general on your website, then you wanna go for WP Rocket if you want a nice premium plugin with support and lots of extra features. Or if you don't wanna spend no money and you wanna get something free, then do get WP Fastest Cash. Really nice, lightweight, free caching plugin that does make a difference to your scores. What's your favorite WordPress caching plugin? I would love to know. What are you using? What kind of scores are you getting? Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and yeah, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. That really does help me out. And yeah, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best with your websites. See you later.